Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to talk about one of the best security features of the Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. This feature is designed to hide sensitive data from prying eyes by allowing you to lock away and hide your private content, such as specific photos, videos, files, docs, and even apps. This feature is called Secure Folder. It works in a fantastic way, so let's dive in and discover how it's done. And of course, first, let me show you how to actually set it up. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna actually set up the secure folder if it's not already set up. So simply go into the settings of your phone, uh, go to lock screen and security, and then look for secure folder, which should be in the middle, tap it, and then it's gonna bring up the introductory screen. Uh, just skip that or you can read through it if you want to. Uh, but click start. When you click start, it's going to tell you that you're going to be needing a Samsung account to actually use the secure folder. So make sure you create a Samsung account and log in to your Samsung account. That's the only way you guys can actually use the secure folder. Once you're done, click confirm. Once you confirm, it's going to ask you to pick up a lock type. So you can do, do a pattern, do a pin or a password. And you can even use your fingerprints or iris scanners to unlock the secure folder, which I'm gonna show you how to use in a little bit. So for demonstration purposes, let me pick up a regular pin number here, and uh, let's just make it zero, 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 continue, zero, 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 continue. And once you put that in, it's gonna actually start to create the secure folder uh, for the first time. And once that process is complete, this is the screen that you're gonna see. That is in fact the secure folder. So what can the secure folder do? The most simple way to put this is everything that happens inside the secure folder stays within the secure folder. And if you want to access those things that you did in the secure folder, you have to put your pin number to unlock it or use your fingerprint or iris, as I said. Now, before I dive into this thing over here, let me show you one more thing. If you go back out, um, you do have to go back into your apps drawer. And after you activate the secure folder, you will see this new icon sitting in the app drawer somewhere. So just grab that. Let's put that on the home screen for a minute for uh, easy access. And of course, if you tap it, it brings you to the same screen. Now this time, because I exited the secure folder, it locked the secure folder. So it's trying to use my iris scanner right now. Uh, but what I want to do is I just want to use the pin number. So just tap in the pin, uh, put in the pin number, and that's going to take you back into the secure folder that we just saw. Now let me quickly go into the settings and uh, disable iris scanning and uh, fingerprint scanning so I can easily use my password every single time. So if I go over here, put the pin number in, I can disable fingerprint and iris scanner. Okay, so this time if I go back out and try to go back into the secure folder, it's simply going to ask me to put in my pin number, which I like more than using my irises or fingerprints. All right, so let's demonstrate what the secure folder does. So let's take one app as an example, then I'll use another app just to drive the idea home. So let's look at the Samsung Notes app. This is the secure version of the apps. And if I go back home, here is the non-secure version of the same app. So let me go in here and I wanna create a quick note. So let's create a, create a note and let's type in this, this is not private and let's click save. And as you can see, that note has been saved into Samsung Notes. But as remember that we used the non-secure version of the app. If I scroll over and go back into the secure version of the app, I do have to put my PIN number in to authenticate. Uh, if I go to this Samsung Notes application, that note is not going to be here because that note is not a secure note. So let me create a note on this side. This is a secure version, so I'll click plus, And let's say this is secure. So this one is secure, click save. And as you can see, this is secure has been saved. So remember that I did this, I performed this action via the secure folder. So if I go back out and go to the regular Samsung Notes application, that uh, note that I created in the secured version is not gonna show up here. So I have that this is not private note that I created earlier, but I do not have the one that says this is secure. And that is the idea behind the secure folder. Everything you do, in the secure folder stays within the secure folder. And uh, you can do the same thing with your camera application, your gallery application, your messaging application. So basically, if I go to the camera right now, uh, let's take a quick picture. 
and the picture was taken. It's just going to be a black picture. Let me go back. Uh, go back to the secured gallery application. And as you can see, that black picture that I just took is sitting right here. This is the one I took earlier as a test. Okay, so we have two black secured pictures that I took using the camera application within the secure folder environment. If I go back out to the regular gallery application, which should be right here, you're not going to see. This is the, all the other uh, photos that I have, non-secure photos. But those two black pictures that I just took are not showing up here because they are actually hidden and they can only be accessed via the secure folder with your PIN number or your irises or your fingerprints. Now one more thing with the secure folder is if you go into the settings and if you tap on settings, uh, you have to make sure that this option here is enabled to lock automatically each time you leave the app. So you put a PIN number on it, you want to make sure that every time you exit the secure folder, it gets locked up immediately for maximum security. On top of that, there's a simple thing you can do here. If you do go into the settings here, you can actually customize the icon for the secure folder. So basically, this is the one I like, the one that says S. Uh, click apply. When you go back out, the icon of that secure folder is now different. You can also move files from the outside into the secured folder. So let's say that I'm outside right now. Let's go to the gallery application. And uh, let's say that these two photos are supposed to be private and I want to move them into the secured gallery application. Okay. All you do is select the photos that you want to actually move over to the private side and then tap this icon here and you'll see the option at the bottom that says moved to secure folder. If I tap it, uh, it's going to ask me to put in my PIN number obviously. So let me do that. Not anybody can just move photos back and forth. So let's click OK. And now these things got transferred over to my secure folder. They have disappeared from the public gallery application. But if you go over to the secure folder here, let's log in and launch the gallery application. Those two photos will be shown inside the secured gallery application. So idea is that you create copies of applications, but then you put them in the secured environment and they become fully secured. Uh, if I go back in here a little really quick, I'm going to show you one more thing. Uh, I can go to add apps and I can add any app, even the videos app, the messaging application inside here into the secured environment and then perform the same functions that I just did on the notes application or the gallery application. So just be aware of that. You don't have to have uh, these uh, eight applications here. You can have more applications, as many as you want. Basically, every time you put an application into the secure folder, it creates an instance, a secure instant instance of the actual app. And of course, just as I moved in a file into the secure folder, I can move it out of the secure folder. So let's go back in the gallery and let's say this photo here should not be in the secure folder. It should not be private. So all I do is tap that icon again and I tap in move out of secure folder. And this time it's not going to ask me for the pin number because I already put the pin number in to come into the secure folder. So going out is not a problem. Okay, so that photo if I go back, it's no longer in the secure folder, in the secure gallery application. It's now publicly available. And of course, other things you can do if you tap on the secure folder is, uh, let me just put that in, Oop, one extra. Uh, you can go into the settings and make some customizations. These are easy to understand concepts. Once you understand the concept of secure folder, uh, these are not a big deal. Uh, you can go to notification and display, and you can actually uh, allow, if there's anything that happens on an app, inside the secure environment, do you want to receive notifications for that? You can enable that, okay? So if you actually put a text messaging application in your secure folder and you receive the text, normally it's not gonna give you a notification. But if you do want to be notified, you can simply allow show content, okay? So you have to manage this very carefully because things can get a little tricky. Just be aware of what you're doing. And this option here allows you to show secure folder. You can actually hide the secure folder. So if I go like this, it says uh, secure folder won't appear on your home or app screen. So let's click hide. So this is just an extra security feature. So once you hide the secure app, how are you going to access it? It could disappear and never come back. All you do again is go back into the main settings. As you can see, secure folder is gone. It's not there. It's not here. So how do we access it? Go back into the settings. Go back into lock screen and security. Go to 
a secure folder right here and it's already active it's going to ask you to put the pin number in and from here what you can do is you can say show secure folder and it's going to oop yeah it's, it, it went through so if you go back out now into the app screen it's going to be right there so you have to re drag it into the desktop so not only can you have a secure folder with secure and private files, you can even hide the secure folder itself so nobody even knows it's there. But every time you have to re-enable it through the settings, lock screen and security. All right, guys. So basically, this is all I wanted to talk about. This is secure folder and this is fantastic. Uh, go ahead and set it up and play with it. And uh, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. And make sure to watch all the other videos that I have. Uh, regarding tips, tricks, and hidden features, as well as exceptional security features for the Samsung Galaxy S8. I'm going to drop the links down below in the description box. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online and give this video a thumbs up. Guys, have a fantastic day now.